enjoyed meeting some of you as I delivered the bags of crafts last week. I wonder how you got on with them. We really enjoyed making the puppets and talking about how God loves absolutely everyone and how Jesus has a special place in his heart for children. What's a lion's favourite flavour of ice cream? Raspberry Ripple. I wonder how lockdown has been for you and your family. One of the hardest things for me has been not to be able to hug my friends and my family that don't live in my house. That's been really hard. And for some people living alone, it's been really hard never to have the touch of a friend or the touch of a family member. And the man in the story, he hadn't touched anyone for years and years and years because of the disease he had. And Jesus had compassion and he reached out and touched him. And it encourages me to think, what can I do to reach out to people who are lonely, to people who are sick, and to people who just need a friend? What can I do? What can you do to share the love of Jesus with them? week you got a strawberry sticker and we were thinking about love. This week you should get a raspberry sticker and an apple sticker. I don't know if you've ever picked a raspberry but if you pick it roughly and press hard you end up with a terrible mess. When you put on your raspberry sticker maybe you could think of the importance of gentleness. Jesus was gentle with the man who had leprosy. And he's gentle with us. And as the Holy Spirit grows in our lives, we learn to be gentle with others. We learn to be gentle with our hands and our feet and also with our words. So you can think about that while you put your raspberry sticker on. Did you hear the one about Goldilocks and the three fruits? They all lived happily ever after. Your second sticker is an apple. This is our apple tree. It's very small, but it brings me great joy because I planted it with someone I love very much. And when I see the apples, I feel so joyful inside. Joy is something that the Holy Spirit grows in us as we become more and more like Jesus. And one of the ways of showing our joy, like the leper, is to be leaping and dancing and jumping. So this week, your challenge is to practice your jumping. You might want to use an egg timer or perhaps a tape measure and challenge yourself just to see how good your jumping can get this week. And don't forget you can upload photographs or um, videos to Twitter or to the website. We look forward to hearing from you. Bye!